In the previous movie, I showed you how to apply effects to a clip and retain the original camera motion. In this movie, I'm going to show you a different way of adding layers on top of another layer and still retain the original camera's movement. In this particular case, I have kind of a shaky camera move following this element as it walks across the scene. Now, I've already applied Warp Stabilizer VFX at its default settings just to save us a little bit of analysis time, and I'll turn it on. And as you now know, if you had trouble with getting a good stabilization, you could show the track points, but you'll see Warp Stabilizer did a very good job of ignoring the foreground motion, the elephant, no track points on him, and instead following the background motion. Anyway, let's say I want this text to appear to be really in this scene rather than just plopped on top of it. Well, in the advanced section, there's two more objective options you'll find interesting. Apply motion to target and apply motion to target over original. Over original does the compositing within one layer. So I'm going to use that one. I choose that. I choose my target layer to be my text. And I temporarily get two copies of the text. One is my original copy, which I can now turn off. And the second is my copy that has been composited into the scene by Warp Stabilizer VFX. You'll see it has turned its stabilization to no motion. That's because underneath the hood, it's not stabilizing the shot, but instead applying the original camera's motion to this new layer. I'll ramp preview this. And you'll see that the text now appears to be part of the original scene and picks up the original camera movement. If you want to change its position, that's a bit non-intuitive. You have to go back to your original layer, type P, and start scrubbing it on that original layer to put it where you want it to be to begin with. Like maybe right around there. Let's try and preview that. Maybe that's a little bit more of the positioning that I want. So that's another nice trick you can now perform with Warp Stabilizer VFX. You can now perform what used to be motion tracker type of composites inside this one plugin. Let's explore that other option. I'm going to select my stabilized footage and change the objective to apply motion to target. When I do so, I don't get a composite. I just get the camera's movement applied to the original layer, but it has now been composited onto this second layer. Notice that it's the layer with Warp Stabilizer VFX that turns it on and off. What if I do want it back over the scene, but I just wanted them as separate layers so I could use blending modes and other cute tricks like that? No problem. I'll duplicate my original footage, Commander Control D, remove Warp Stabilizer from the copy underneath, so I now have a composite, and now I have my moving footage composite on top of my untreated scene. Now I'm free to go ahead and press F4 to bring up blending modes, maybe use a little bit of an add mode, back off the transparency a little bit to get a little bit more interesting of a composite so it blends in. And now I have an even more interesting composite by using them as two separate layers rather than having the effect composite everything within one layer.